Very few people know Bob Dylan. You have collaborated with him. He's still a mystery. What is he really like? His love for the music, his right. love for words. And, um, we toured Europe with him. What you, what, which album is this? Uh, we were touring on Infidels. Okay. I didn't play on the album, Mick Taylor did. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nicky Hopkins um, <coughs> was up for the gig and rehearsed with Bob at his house. And I was living uh, really close by his house, funny enough, but in LA, but a man of a book. He, Nicky doesn't play the organ, or didn't play the organ. He's a piano player. And Bob particularly wanted organ, not piano. So um, Mick Taylor, I think, suggested uh, I should sit in. So I sat in for a couple of days, and then one of Bob's guys said, came up to me, he said, well, um, you got the gig. I said, well, what is the gig? Because nobody had mentioned what it was. Mm. He said, it's a tour of Europe. I said, so I went up to Bob, and I said, he was sitting across the road there across the, the, the room, and I said, Bob, it's a real honor and a pleasure to play with you. I look forward to the tour. He said, I hope you feel the same way at the end of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's a difficult guy because he's very, everybody wants to ask him questions, right? Every one of us could, would, I mean, if you had an hour with him, wouldn't you just dream to ask him all the questions? Well, I got it twice. Mm -hmm. So we rehearsed, rehearsed, then we went to Europe. And we were staying at uh, a hotel on Lake Garda in Italy, near Verona, for the first show. And we, we rehearsed there for a couple of days, I remember it. And I said to Mick, I said, is Bob going to come j join us in the bar, you know, and just be sociable? And he said, I'll go and ask him. And he came down and he walked straight over to me and he said, what are you drinking? <laughs> so I said, I think I was drinking a port brandy, it was something, horrible drink, well, great drink, but you can only drink one or two of them. And he drank with me one for one all evening. And he said, I hear you want, there's some songs you want, you want me to play. I said, well, I, you know, I wonder why you wouldn't do What's a Sweetheart Like You doing a dump like this, because it's all the infidels, the album we're promoting. He's, it's the video that MTV's playing. He's not, he hasn't played it once, right? But he's got so many songs. And he said, let's make a list. <laughs> and he made a list years later I wrote a book called All the Rage, and when I was writing about that night, I remember it that we made a list and he never did any of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> but in fact, that after the, most of the book was written, I was looking through some memorabilia and I found um, the itinerary for that tour, which we never got one. Bob's people never gave us an itinerary, we never had a, a set list or a room list. We couldn't come communicate with anybody, it was very strange. <laughs> but this was Carlos Santana who was opening for the show. He took sympathy on me and he gave me his itinerary. So here it is, and I opened it up, and here's a postcard from the hotel on the back. In Bob's handwriting is the list. And we did half of the songs. So I had to rewrite my story. Yeah. Anyway, that was one time. The other time we <coughs> arrived in England towards the end of the tour, and we got we arrived at Heathrow Airport and we had to wait for our connection and we hadn't gone through immigration. So we were in a first class lounge that's separate from the public. And uh, there was a bar there and I said, Bob, do you fancy a drink? He said, okay. <laughs> and we sat up at the bar. I said, I gotta tell you, I was born two miles from here. How's what where Heathrow Airport is? And he said, really? And we started talking. And it, He's just like anybody. He's a very fascinating guy. He was sweet as a nut. 